Hey guys, today we're talking about some mindset basic strategies. So these things are key regardless of what your goals are, especially as it relates to health and fitness, but whatever goal you're trying to achieve, you have to make sure that your mindset is dialed in before moving forward. So we're gonna talk about the three main things when coming to mindset. The first one being you need to have a clear goal and a clear plan to get there. Until you have that, you're just gonna be jumping around from thing to thing, so it's super important to get crystal clear on what that goal is and then form a plan to help accomplish that. When setting goals to, to keep it simple, we talk about SMART goals. So, so these should be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. So that acronym SMART helps for setting goals. You need these things to be measurable, you need them to be specific, so that you know, did I get there or did I not? And once you have that, with that timeline on it, then you can start to lay out your plan, you can work backwards and reverse engineer that process. So with that plan then, the next thing is identifying any small habit changes that can help you get closer to your goal. So a lot of times we try and take this, this huge goal, we, we set big goals out there, and I love it, I'm all for setting big goals, but you have to dial it back and say, okay, what current habits can I remove that aren't helping me get there, and what current habits can I add in that are helping me move closer to that goal. So those small habit changes can be something as simple as, for example, morning and evening routines. It can be something as simple as different triggers throughout our day that remind us of uh, why we're working towards what we're doing. These habits over time lead to huge results. So that's the second thing. Third thing we're talking about is connecting to your why. So we wanna make sure that the goal we have set forth is tied into why that's important to you. If you're trying to achieve a goal for simply financial reasons or simply to to look good or simply to do any of these things, which aren't necessarily bad goals, but if you're not connecting to your why, to that purpose that really sets you on fire and drives you forward for other people in your life that matter the most that you're trying to do this for, the goal is not gonna get reached, or at least not as quickly or as effectively as you can if you really dial into that why of why you're trying to achieve these goals. So those are the three things. Go through that, that plan, get clear on your goal, identify some small habit changes, changes to make, and then connect into your why. So keep asking why until you get to that thing that really sets you on fire and gets you fired up to help work for these goals. And that's gonna make the rest of this so much easier. Especially if you're living a busy lifestyle, you're working a lot, you're doing all these things, you need to have these simple strategies to, uh, to take to help make this as effective as you can in the time you do get to spend investing in yourself and investing towards your goal. So try these things out, reach out if you guys have any questions, we'll talk to you soon.